하휴 오늘의 꿀말리 콩필름님의 영상 만약에 스케비 토일렛이 현실에 있다면 어떻게 될까요? 꿀잼을 저 바로 출발합니다 뽀뽀 자 이곳에서의 카메라맨들과 그리고 스케비 토일렛의 전쟁 계속해서 새로운 스케비 토일렛이 등장하다 보니까 전쟁이 완전 그냥 달리고 있어요 Scientists who developed weapons to stop the Skibidi toilets were desperate. Nothing worked against these horrible creatures. Yeah, y a 끔찍한데 이거. The only one who didn't give up was scientist Dr. Clark. 자, 자 유일하게 닥터 클락 클락 박사만 포기하지 않았어요. He conceived a genius plan to destroy all Skibidi toilets. Wow. He wanted to develop a special telephone gun that would be able to move Skibidi toilets to another universe. All the scientists thought he was a fool and freak, saying it was impossible. Yeah, teleporter is a plan. He used all his knowledge to create something impossible to imagine, and after two long months, yeah, 결국엔 만들었어. When the time came to test the gun. He took the risk. Okay, 실험을 하려고 하는데. Be hurt by his creation. He decided to test the gun on a captured small skibidi toilet. 아니, 조금 이 스키비디 토일렛에게 실험을 하려고 합니다. 그 시점을 바꿔서 보니까 박사가 오히려 악당 같은데. Overcoming his fear, he decides to use his teleporter. 자, 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 자. 안돼, 어쩌지 마요. Toilet and pulled the trigger, but instead of the skibidi toilet, it's Dr. Clark who vanished. 어, 아니 잘못 썼어. 닥터 클락이 대신 맞았어요. All scientists watching this experiment were shocked. Upon waking up, Dr. Clark didn't know where he was. The entire planet was a huge radioactive dump. 와, 방사능으로 가득한 그런 새로운 우주에 도착을 했어요. 아, 텔레포트 건이 무, 어, 살이 나버렸고. He started going over the teleporter gun and realized that he could fix it. 어, 그 와중에 어떻게든 고치려고 하네요. It took much longer to fix the. 야, 근데 여기 행성 있는 것 자체가 박사에게 엄청난 영향을 주는 것 같아요, 몸에. During this long stay, the radiation had changed him. 아, 저 방사능이, 으, 그의 신체를 변형을 시킵니다. 헐, 완전 괴물이 돼 버렸어요. Everything was ready. The mutated Dr. Clark opened a portal. 이게 어떻게든 일단 일단은 포탈을 열어가지고 지구로 돌아가는데. And randomly teleported into an audio store. Oh, the audio store is falling. Due to the teleportation, the speaker man was falling. He merged with the store's equipment. His muscles were covered in super strong material. His bones became steel. His blood vessels changed to cables. 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 He became a weapon itself. 아 인간이라고 하기 좀 그런가? 자 지금까지 스피커맨의 탄생 이야기였습니다. 다음은 또초 인기 캐릭터 TV Woman의 이야기예요. TV Woman wasn't always a killing machine. 어 예전에는 살인 기계가 아니었다고 하는데. 로봇 변기가 아마 한판 붙는데요. One quiet evening. A pregnant woman was falling asleep in her home, but she had no idea that a nightmare was real. 집에서 편하게 쉬고 있는데 스키비 토일렛이 습격을 해옵니다. Creepy Skibidi toilets secretly broke into her house. 발견해 버렸어 어떻게? They wanted to kidnap this woman and create a new horrible monster. They placed her in a secret underground lair. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. Every day they inject her with a new scary monster. But Skibidi toilets wouldn't even let her get close to the baby. 결국 TV 엄마, 아 TV 부모의 엄마는 Skibidi한테 잡아먹히고 맞는군요. 거의 뭐 진격의 거인 아니냐? 
they decided to use the child as a weapon in their fight against the cameramen. Oh. All her childhood, the girl was subjected to extreme training and experiments to turn her into a deadly weapon. Due to mutations in her blood, she grew very fast and became stronger every day. But Skibidi toilets were not satisfied regular cameraman. This made them angry, and they decided to change her beyond recognition. They started pumping huge doses the TV woman. They replaced all her limbs with robotic prosthetics. Come She became a cyborg. A true king. After many months of inhuman modifications, she was ready for her first mission. When TV woman arrived on the spot, she easily defeated the cameraman. Oh. The only one who could stop her was a Titan cameraman. Cameraman, Titan cameraman, 제외하고는 아주 활약 중이었어요. 어 하필 얘한테 딱 걸려 버렸지 근데. He was the reason she was able to be captured and disarmed. They transported a TV woman to the lab and told her the truth. Told that the Skibidi toilets were not. 아 하지만 진실을 듣게 된 TV woman. She couldn't believe it. After learning the whole truth, she couldn't sit idle. She decided to get revenge. So, for revenge, the woman became one of the victims in the Skibidi toilet. Ah, the Skibidi toilet was sucked up. Ah, this TV woman's story is a little bit sad. Something terrible terrible happened. Ah, the Skibidi toilet. The Skibidi toilet was sucked up. The Skibidi toilet was sucked up. The Skibidi toilet with the merciless Skibidi toilets. Despite their best efforts, they were unable to resist these monsters. The cameramen were defeated. After it was over, everybody lived in fear and panic. Everyone who came out at night in this town was missing. The citizens of Green Falls were sure that some Skibidi toilets stayed in this town, and at night they kidnap and eat people. One day, a stranger named Daryl was driving through Greenfield. He didn't know what happened. He was staying in town after sunset. As he arrived in town, his car suddenly broke down in the middle of a creepy street. Before he could realize what happened, he was hit and passed out. When Daryl woke up, there was a creepy man standing in front of him. Oh, 일어나 보니까 한 남자한테 붙잡혔어요. During the last attack on the city, because the cameramen didn't have enough strength, they lost, and Skibidi toilets ate his family. Ah. 아이고 이 남자의 이야기를 듣다 보니까 그의 가족들도 형기들한테 전부 당했나 봐요. He fell into despair. 역시나. He decided to take revenge. 복수를 결심합니다. A distraught man decided to create an invincible weapon that could deal with the Skibidi toilets. Ah, the 병기들을 싹 쓸어 버릴 수 있는 완벽한 무기를 만들기로 결정했어요. Ah, 이를 위해 선량한 시민들을 막 잡아 가지고 실험을 하고 결국 이 남자도 나쁜 사람이긴 해. He turned them into his creepy killing machines. He made terrifying creatures out of ordinary people that would be able to fight the Skibidi toilets. But he wasn't satisfied with the results. 이런저런 뭐 실패작을 만들기도 하고 변기 안에 카메라만이 들어 있다가도 그리고 뭐 좀비처럼 됐다가 오 이거는 뭔가 스피커맨에 좀 가까워졌는데. Through his experiments on the Skibidi toilets, he learned all their weaknesses. It turned out that their weakest point was ultrasound. Through his experiments, he developed a powerful weapon to destroy them. He promised Daryl that he would become the strongest of his creatures. Daryl had no choice. No, he's a strong animal. The next few hours of human surgery and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Malo, he's a mad scientist. His skin became stronger than the hardest steel, and his entire body was covered in the most powerful weapon. Through genetic mutations and insane technology, Daryl grew several times larger. Through genetic mutations and insane technology, Daryl grew several times larger. Mumba, he killed the monster. Da, Buzul, get out! Oh, my God! 